Shanghai Superfly NB. Um, attaching this video to yours for two reasons. One gives me a chance to personally say hi and thank you for what you're doing. And secondly, as you know, I can't attach it to Jack's stuff because although Jack says this, I allow for people to post up comments, I allow for people to post up responses, disagreeing with my perspective. I know of at least one exception, and that's me. There's a number of reasons I'm making the video. Um, first of all, Jack refers to four video responses that I made to him. Uh, he, dis he describes them like this. An atheist like Phil Hellenes, who posted up video responses to me that were so filled with attacks on my, myself, about my beliefs. He ridiculed myself, my beliefs, and then he misquoted me on several occasions, on a few occasions. Which gives you the impression that they're nothing but rants. I challenge anyone to go and watch those four videos and see nothing but somebody trying to answer Jack's points point by point. Yes, there's sarcasm in there, but why wouldn't there be? Um, when you try and say that Phil Hellenes has gone about, or, or someone else has gone about explaining to me why atheists have arrived at the position that they have, that is nonsense. That is pure nonsense. If you want to know the truth of this, go to Jack's channel, look at the videos that he's addressed to atheists, and notice how many hours and hours and hours of responses, material provided by atheists explaining their position, explaining why they think his position is flawed. For him to say that no one has ever explained this to him or tried to explain this to him is, I have to say, a lie or a memory loss of such proportion that it requires medical attention. That is pure nonsense. But the main reason is to explore why I think Jack blocked me. I made a, I made a comment on one of his videos. Here it is. At the end of the day, you're a human being claiming to be rational and scientific while believing in God's spiritual sperm and you dare to talk about inconsistency. You get over it. You grow up. You give us a break from your tired circular trash whereby you claim to talk to the creator of the universe and feel its replies. Rational and scientific? No. Insecure and acting. Now he replied to that with this comment which as you'll note contains an LOL. Now if he's going to reply like this I don't think he's going to block me for the thing that he's replying to. It would have been a whole different tone. I think the reason he blocked me had nothing to do with the first comment, it was to do with this comment. You believe God got Mary pregnant. Screw every line of theology that attempts to hide that one core absurdity. Spiritual sperm is more honest and essentially accurate. A million words of apologetics cannot hide what Christians say they believe. It's in your Bible. God willed a virgin pregnant with himself. Grow up. You smoke-blowing, ego-obsessed, ex-dog-torturing, laughably arrogant, irrational, attention-seeking subscriber whore. Now what is in there that got to Jack? One thing that Jack has repeatedly said that he despises and hates is amateur psychoanalysis. So for this video, what I'd like to do is some amateur psychoanalysis. What is it in this comment that got little old me blocked from Jack's channel. The first part of the comment is really a reiteration of the previous comment which didn't get me blocked so the answer is somewhere in the description of him in the latter part of the comment. Now he is laughably arrogant because I've laughed at his arrogance, he is a smoke blower because he tries to obscure the fact that he believes that God can spiritually ejaculate in a human womb something he <laughs> never mentions on video. Instead he attacks atheist beliefs without talking about his own smokescreen. Is he a subscriber whore? Well he spent two weeks doing nothing but video responses pretty much to Thunderfoot and The Amazing Atheist. I'd like people watching this to ask themselves two questions. Would he have blocked Thunderfoot and the Amazing or The Amazing Atheist had they made the comment I made? If you say no 
the second question is do you think their huge subscriber base and the attention that they could have provided for Jack played any part in his decision if you think that he wouldn't block them because of their huge subscriber bases but he could block me because of my relatively small one then he's a subscriber whore and you know it now on to my psychoanalysis subscriber whore attention seeking yeah Jack's heard all that before the thing I think that he blocked me for was ex dog torturer now it's true that's a true statement he once tortured a dog it's actually quite a kind statement because it implies strongly that he wouldn't torture a dog today but the fact is he did now why did he my next door neighbor she had a poodle and I got off the bus one day and this dog this poodle was humping my dog and I was just infuriated because the poodle was this ugly looking poodle. It was this ugly, horrible looking dog. And uh, so I, I ran over there. You know, and all the friends, everyone could see, you know, it's, how embarrassing is that, right? It's your dog and the dogs are just there right at the bus stop. And so my brother and I ended up taking this poodle to this pond and we put it on this raft and we pushed it out to the middle of, the, of this pond and we started throwing rocks at it and we tried to kill it. And we literally got, it was, it was at the point of dying, literally. It was in this inner tube, um, and it couldn't get out of the inner tube because it was just too small of a dog. And eventually I just was like, I don't know what, something clicked, like my conscience. He says it's because this ugly poodle was humping his beautiful dog but you're missing something if you think that's the case listen again I got off the bus one day and this dog this poodle was humping my dog there you know and all the friends everyone could see you know it's how embarrassing is that right you see that is Jack's weakness that is why Jack says such stupid things intending to anger atheists to get a rise from them not only to distract them from his own beliefs in spiritual sperm but because as long as we're angry at him and showing our anger we're not laughing at him it's laughter that Jack's fi Jack fears laughter is Jack's weakness he punished that dog not because of what the dog was doing but because people saw the dog doing it his friends the kids at school they laughed at him and for that Jack tortured and terrorized what for all we know was a loving animal love thy neighbor Jack well let's see shall we there must be some small print that I've missed I don't know Jack I've been all over this text looking for small print and I can see love thy neighbor but I can't see the bit where it says you can kill the fucking dog if you want to okay you pulled back but the fact is you got into that situation throwing rocks I, I wish we had a video of that to put up on YouTube Jack what a lovely kid you must have been I've assassinated hundreds and hundreds of insects but I've never wanted to hurt or even disturb so much as a mouse what is it about people laughing at you that makes you for a moment forget that it is not right to torture and terrify an animal just how much laughter did you have to endure as a child Jack how many nights did you bite that pillow with the horrors of the sound of the children at school laughing at you it has affected your mind I've always wondered why Jack seems to enjoy making the atheists angry and I think I know why I think it's because anything for Jack is better than being laughed at anything he would rather be hated if he makes you angry he has succeeded if he can deflect you from the reality of the situation he is happy he is content he has succeeded when he says that atheists are irrational he is a Christian you must remember this what he is saying is that atheists are irrational 
for not believing that an invisible brain can spiritually inseminate a human virgin rather like that poodle getting its rocks off with Jack's dog <laughs>